Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the stock of Cinebus Energy INC. Now the stock has performed well over a period of time. If you uh, just look for like six, five or six months. So this stock has performed well in a short amount of time. And it has uh, recently closed above its previous high of June. 15 2021 which was 10.41 right now it is 10.9 now one important thing to understand here is if you are looking at the you know basic fundamentals where you're talking about let's say PE now you will see the PE is substantially higher and this is happening for a simple reason that if you are looking at the profile of the company you will see this is uh, related to energy and uh, oil and gas integrated so what we have here is these companies has accumulated huge amount of losses uh, you know uh, in the past couple of years and i think this is the first time in six or eight months where energy prices across the globe soared up so it will cover up it will cover up as as the earnings in because the price has increased and earnings won't that's why it looks like this so once the earnings started increasing you will see that the p ratio will come down quickly and one most important thing is the beta the beta is 3.71 which means it is if the market uh, go up by a point then this stock can go up by 3.71 point so you can understand the kind of volatility the stock possess so if you that's why i'm saying most of the times in my most of my videos that if you are comfortable with volatility then only trade such stocks which gives a big move because uh, you will feel happy when the stock uh, moves up by 100 200 500 percent but when it started coming down and uh, if you are not comfortable with that then uh, the simple answer for that is you actually don't understand how it is working so just stay out of it if you understand if you unable to understand the volatility then uh, let's see if, if we have anything uh, specific uh, for this particular company in terms of news so if I check the news section uh, okay so you will see that uh, this stocks outperform so I think this is just uh, related to the price action which anyhow we are going to uh, observe and we are going to analyze so let's go to the chart and let's see what's happening over here so if you are looking at the chart there is uh, the price is actually standing at a very important juncture so if you are looking at the price what you can see over here are two specific levels you have 10.73 which will probably be the level you need to look for and if the stock continues to sustain above 10.7 then only we will go for an upside and don't hold or carry any further position below 10.7 although it's a very strict stop loss but uh, you need to maintain in some of the situation or if you want uh, that if any further level below 10.73 then you can go for 9.11 but don't go below these two levels otherwise you will be in problem now because the stock uh, continues to sustain above 10.7 we have uh, a very near term resistance of 11.76 or 11.8 once this get crossed once this get crossed what we have here uh, uh, here we are once this get crossed we have couple of levels to look at right we have levels uh, beyond 11.8 which will start with 17.18 and then we have 26 dollars 
and the big target will push the price towards 32 and 40 dollars in the upcoming weeks and months which was the high of 2011 40 dollars so this is the or these are the targets that we are looking at but the most important thing here to understand is respect and save your support as well as stop loss level and once you are comfortable that it is holding above these two levels you will see the stock can comfortably moving up or inching up and climbing you know each and every uh, target on individual basis so this is the end of the video thanks for watching